I'm Adil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. You need to integrate x square plus 1 divided by, let me change this question since we have already done this before. So I've changed it a bit. So we have the question here as x square plus 1 divided by x plus 2 dx. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now what you observe here is a couple of things. One, it is improper rational function, right? So we say this is improper rational function. Now what do that mean, right? It means that the degree of denominator is not higher. So, so degree of denominator is not higher than that of numerator, right? So when that is the case, what should you do? If that is the case, the first step here is to uh, write it as a combination of polynomial and rational function, right? So, so you should write this as a combination of p of x plus, uh, uh, let's say, numerator and denominator, something like this, right? So in that form. To get it in this form, what we do is we divide the numerator by denominator. So let's follow that process. Let's go through it once. Okay, so what we need to divide by x plus 2 in this case, we just change this. And x squared plus 1, that is x squared plus placeholder 0x plus 1. So, so when you divide, you can multiply by x first. So we get x squared plus 2x. And when you take away, you get minus 2x plus 1. And this time, it is minus 2. So it is minus 2x minus 4. And what do you get here? Remainder as, when you take away this as 5, right? So, uh, so that is what the remainder is. Since this is a remainder, we could write the function as equal to integral of x minus 2, right? That is the quotient. And then plus 5, over x plus 2 d of x, correct? So all this. So that is the first step. In doing so, we have kind of simplified the given function. Do you see that? Now it's easy to integrate and so you can integrate them all. So we have x as x squared, half of that, right? Minus 2x, is it okay? And this part is plus 5 ln absolute value of x plus 2 is it okay? plus c. So that becomes the answer for the given question. Correct? So that is how you could actually easily integrate such rational functions. So remember, whenever the degree of numerator is higher or same, you should do this long division, simplify, and then get the answer. I hope that is clear. Thank you and all the best.